Although in Malta we're doing stock and we are migrating now through the pictures. We've gone through the watercolours, we've gone through the oil paintings and we're now at a oleograph. Now, if you were to walk into this room and see this picture, you're going to make the assumption it's an oil painting. The reason is it is a copy of an oil painting and the texture and the sheen and the subject and the colours and the frame look 100% like an oil painting. You, you really can't get it across very well on a little camera. If you come into the room, even from the side, from the front, under direct light, under subdued light, it's a fantastic example of a copy of oil painting. This frame is a Maltese made frame, water gilded, gold leaf, real gold leaf. It has area of high burnish, areas of unhigh burnish. It's, and I actually bought this for the frame. And these are extremely inexpensive. Extremely inexpensive. I thought I would find another picture, a real, a real old, to put the frame in. Or I thought I'd make a mirror out of it. The reason it's a useful frame for me as a picture dealer is just plain cornered. There's no um, moulded plaster work, so it can be cut down in any direction. That big, that big. Easy. Get a miter cutter, cut it, shrink it. It's cheaper to buy an antique one than to go to a picture framers. If you go to a picture framers and mould them and say, can I have a reproduction frame like that? They will want 300 euros for a frame, nothing in it. New, and it will look new, and it will be made of compressed MDF, simulated gold, probably. So you can see, if you find one of these, you want to, you want to sort of, want to a winner. And you have these items and you have varying uses. So here, as I say, keep it as it is. Uh, mirror, spare frame. Okay, I know from experience that these oilographs are usually French. Um, the, the name, I have to confess, looks German. It's actually signed 95, so this is painted in 1895. It's a representation of a, a Jesus in a sort of Baroque-ish, earlier style. So in 1895, they're, they're, they're painting a copy of an older style picture. It's got certain French elements. This is the Sacred Heart, the Sacre Coeur. Uh, in France, they have latched onto the Sacre Coeur as a emblem, Christian emblem. You obviously have Sacre Coeur Church in Paris, and there's Sacre Coeur Churches all over France. You, you see this heart held with thorns all over the place in France. You do have it in Malta, it's not represented the same way in Malta. You have the hole in the hand, you don't see it a lot in Malta, you do see it in France, but that's an unusual thing. Of course, the blood, sanguine, goes with the cloak, terracotta, ochre, bowl colour, goes with the heart. So you have the reds, you have the ivories, the gold, it goes quite well. Right, back. To the untrained eye, that looks like an old painting. The printed surface is attached to a piece of canvas and it's in a, in a, in a frame which would have been new in 1900, 1910, and it looks very convincing. What happened in France, they would make reams of those prints. They'd be mountains and thousands, tens of thousands, and there'd be reams. And the reams would be sent abroad to different countries. And then the, in, the, in the country of retail, they would, they would frame them up. And, the, and it, if it was printed in 1900, they would still be taking stock from the ream, you know, even 10, 15 years later. So that's the background. Two very nice hanging hooks, great. France is Catholic, uh, England is not Catholic. We don't have this fairly gratuitous, gruesome artwork in 
Christ, in Protestant England. You have it, you have, you have got it, of course you've got it, but it's not in your house, it's not in the town hall, it's not in the churches so much. This is very hardcore Christian imagery. You, that you're, they were trying to show, well, I'm afraid they were trying to show cruelty and sadness and suffering, all these things. Um, you know, we, we, we all think of Mary, and we all think of Christmas cards and lambs and mangers, but, you know, Mary's son was killed by the Romans. You know, crucified, not very nice. And we, and we all sort of washed our hands of that aspect of it. And these pictures originally, were just, they were designed to scare the hell out of you. They were, just, they were designed as instruments of piety, as sort of almost emblems of authority. And that is what they were. So in the late Victorian era in France, you're going for this modern conversion of Christianity into this slightly more palatable version of, of the story. Okay, oilographs. If you have an oilograph in your home in Malta now, you, you will be laughed at. People will say, oh, you've got an oilograph. You stupid person, you thought it was an oil painting, didn't you? There is that, fo there is that form of, it's not a nasty snobbery, there is that form of snobbery. And I, 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 I saw it and thought, oh, it's an oilograph, I'm not going to buy it. But, you know, how many years <laughs> can you walk past these things? I mean, look at it, it's absolutely fantastic. So I bought it. If I had to bought another one, I'm going to go get the other one as well. I can't find it. I'll have to get it later. It's, it's stored. Um, anyway, I'm going to say goodbye to the autograph. <clears throat> Thanks for having a look. Um, why not buy it? Why not buy this thing? Put it in your house. Give it to your children in 30 years. Thanks for looking.